you must know your role. Listen to me very carefully. Know your role as an entrepreneur. Listen, drop the title attitude. You must be a leader. You must be a leader. Right from the time you started the business, you must build a corporate culture. You must allow people to be able to do work and provide them with the environment so they can innovate and be better. Don't carry yourself out. I am the CEO. I'm the CMO. I'm the COO. I'm the managing director. I'm the board chairman. Hey, Masa, drop the title. Take it easy. You've not reached that level yet. You have not reached that level yet. Okay? You've not reached that level yet. Drop the title and be a leader. You have to be a leader. So you must have a corporate culture in place. Right from the time I started my business, I decided that there is not going to be anything title. And so there's only one thing that you will see maybe around my profile somewhere, managing partner. Very subtle, very simple. Because who are you? Who are you browse? Who are you bragging with title? You are the CEO of what? What company? If I Google you, I can't even hear about you. And you are a CEO. Come on, man, put some respect on the title CEO and drop it. <laughs> drop it, okay? Build a culture there. Let people innovate. A lot of the things you see us do on our social media, in our mobile application, sometimes I, it doesn't even cross my mind. But the team will just come up and say, hey, a member on our team, when we're having a meeting, we say, uh, Ishira, I think when we do A, B, and C, it will be able to say, wow, yeah, that's good. Implement it, but we go. Implement it, but we go. Because there's a corporate culture. We have developed a framework of what is acceptable, what we want to achieve as a business. I have told the team members and everybody that joins our team, we tell them, this is what we want to achieve in the long term. Ultimately, this is where we are going in the next 25 years. It is established. It is there. So I allow the team members to innovate, to be of themselves, and we give them all the resources they need so that we can build a successful business. Don't have the title and try to be bossy. Allow people, give them room and allow them and see how they can grow your business. Know your role. Know your role. Know your role. If it is product that you are going to do, do product quality and leave other aspects of the company to people, supervise them, and they're going to do the good job. If it is social media, you can do, do it. If it is finance, you can do, do it. But know your role. Know your role as an entrepreneur. But you see, to make all of these things possible, you need to reinvest everything. This is what you don't want to hear but I'm going to drop it on your face. Reinvest everything. No bullshit. Flex lifestyle. Listen to me carefully. There are some of you, when your business starts making some coins, starts making some 5,000 CDs, at the end of the uh, year, your profit 5,000 CDs, you're going to be eating pork meat and beer and going to be chilling and you know flexing around, buying new cars and all of those things. What are you trying to do? Who are you flexing? Are you serious? Then you're going to be wearing branded clothing. You become a billboard for companies. No, you have to reinvest everything. You have to reinvest everything. Everything. Don't buy flashy cars. Don't go and buy clothing. Don't go and now flex, carry yourself around like, no, 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 no. Hey, come on, calm down reinvest everything reinvest everything you can see this from my our business model we have videos on our youtube channel and videos on our portal there are people who tell me shira some of these videos are very old you have to remove them all i said no leave them there so that people will know the journey do you understand because some of the videos that the audio is is really bad but as money begins to come what do we do we acquire advanced gadgets now we shoot all our videos in 4K. And, and it's an investment. We have quality audio devices that we use. It's an investment. I don't have time going to wear Louis Vuitton or going to wear Tom Ford suits. I've not reached there yet. 
I got to build an empire. I want to build a bonfire so that the whole community will come and sit by it and get warmth. Don't, don't, don't get some 10,000, some 100,000, some 200,000 and start living a bossy life. I'm not saying don't be comfortable. I am saying build a bonfire. I don't know if you know a bonfire in the village. Those of you who have stayed in the village before, when there is the weather is cold, a bonfire, then we, a whole community will come and sit down. They will have a Brewana now sitting down and telling us Anansi stories. Build a bonfire, build a big business. Because you see, you cannot engage all these experts. Pay people if you don't reinvest everything, especially for the first five, 10 years of your business. I know you're not comfortable with that. For the first five, 10 years of your business, you have to reinvest everything. Because you see, for the first five years, you may not see any tangible results. That is why some people give up. That is why 90% of the businesses fail in the first five years because you're not seeing any results. And the small money that is coming in, you are blowing it away on weekends. You are taking girls out. You are taking uh, uh, boys out. You are chilling. You are flexing. No, build a business. Build a business. So you have to reinvest everything.